Hey guys, welcome to James Cornerstone. I'm going to be doing my review on the Human Centipede today. Now, let me just quickly go into Wikipedia and I will just give you a brief enlightening tale just to start off with. The Human Centipede first sequence is a 2010 Dutch horror film written and directed by Tom Six. The film tells the story of a German doctor who kidnaps three tourists and joins them surgically mouth to anus. Yes, mouth to asshole, <laughs> Forming a human centipede. Okay, so he's um, a German doctor. He claims to be a doctor. He, he could be, it could be anything. I mean, hey, I Justine is talking about PMS on her channel. She's a nurse, so this guy could be a doctor. He's got a dish put on a white coat. And I, I'm a doctor too. I'm a, I'm a gynecologist. I, I've got a white coat in my room. My... Anyway, getting away from that. The so human centipede is basically about, you get two, well, so there's three tourists. Now, this German doctor's already got one of them, who's, I believe, a, I believe he's Chinese. He may be Japanese, I'm not sure. But, yeah, then there's two girls. And as in the movies, they're driving in the sticks in their car and their car breaks down and they go into the woods and they get killed by some fucked up Jason character with an axe. <laughs> Because it's very, very cheap to make movies like that, and there's a lot of them being made, trust me. They're fucked up, they're all fucked up. But getting back to what I was saying, they break down, their car breaks down, so they have to go out and look to get a telephone or something, you know, try and get out of their situation. So what they do is they stumble, up, they stumble into the doctor's house, and they knock on his door. And well, there's not going to be any spoilers in this. Trust me. You, I don't. After I'm, after me explaining this to you, I don't think you want to watch the film. But I'm, I'm going to tell you anyway. So they knock on his door, and he opens up the door. He acts a little bit weird, but you know, they, they, he lets him in. Get a towel. Why are you waiting to make a telephone call? Now the doctor, the doctor claims that he's going to call the police, but he doesn't call the police. But he claims he called the police. So they're sitting down on the couch, drying off because it was raining. And, yes, it was messed up. It was real messed up because then he went into the kitchen and he got them a couple of drinks because they asked for drinks. And he decided to slip a roofie in them. And within in no time, they pass out. And they wake up on a surgical table in his basement. Like most normal, I guess most normal doctors do. They have surgical tables because they like operating on people. Even if you're not a real doctor, they like operating on people. So anyway, there happens to be three people down there. You've got like this Chinese or Japanese guy, and then you've got the two girls. So what he decides to do is, he decides to have his little white drawing board, and he explains to them in graphic detail what he's going to do to them. And he says, we're going to make an incision here, we've got to make an incision here, and make an incision here, and we've got to join you all up like a fucking centipede, yeah? <laughs> That's good, yeah? And, okay, so he does that. He, he gets that into place, and, yeah, he basically starts, he gets his little thread out, or however the fuck he does it, and he starts joining them up. So, what he does is he puts the Japanese, I'll call him Japanese for argument's sake, so he puts the Japanese guy at the front. You know how a centipede works. It's got like eight fucking 15, 20 legs. I don't know. But he sticks the Japanese guy at the front. So his head's facing that way. So the Japanese guy's got his head clear. So he can continue breathing. Then the second, second, the, the second person, the girl, what he does with the girl is he puts the girl behind him. And then he puts the third girl behind the second girl. And then what he does is he tapes the Japanese guy's asshole to the girl's face, he sews it in. So she can still breathe, but she's breathing, basically breathing through his ass. And the same with the second one. So, now you've got three people stuck together. So you've got the head at one end with the Japanese guy, and the girl's ass at the back, so she can, I guess, shit. Right. <laughs> okay, but what, I, I, feel, I feel really bad for the second girl, because she's in the middle of it, you know, and that, that's fucked, that's real fucked up, because, you know, she's got her head up that ass, and, you know, hey, maybe she's into it. Maybe she likes getting her ass out by another girl, mate. Who the fuck knows? But, <coughs> I'm sorry this is a bit graphic, but this is the human centipede, so. Anyway, how are they going to live? How's, how's the second one, how's the one in the middle going to eat if she's got her head sewn into his ass? It's quite easy. What the guy does is, this um, doctor gives the Japanese guy some food, 
and the Japanese guy, because he's got his hands free, he can eat yum 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 yum. He could be eating Burger King, McDonald's, he could be eating liver, he could be eating, I don't know, he could be eating dog shit, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the doctor gave him, but he gave him something to put on the floor and he ate. So he, yum 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 yum. He, he's having a good time, because he can breathe and he can eat his food, normal food. But I feel fucked up for the second girl, because the second girl, the only way she's going to eat is when the Japanese guy shits. Because the, he ain't, he, this doctor ain't going to separate the three of them to eat. So she has to eat what comes out of the Japanese guy's asshole. So, shit. Feces. She's going to have to eat his feces. You see? So the first Japanese guy eats. The second girl eats the feces. Yum, yum, yum. It's not nice, but hey, it'll do because it's an appetizer. <laughs> And it'll, it'll keep her alive. It's the only way to keep him alive. It's mess, it's fucked, it's real fucked up, but this is the way it goes. Same with the third one. So the first one eats, the second one eats the shit, the third one eats the shit, but the third one shits out of her own asshole and that goes onto the floor. So that's normal. So yeah, that, that's basically the movie. And yeah, they have to try and survive. I'm not gonna put any more spoilers if you wanna watch this movie because it's a very, very entertaining movie. I suggest you watch it because it will give you an, an insight into how a human centipede actually works. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful, it's, it's kind of a love story with three people joined up together and hmm, they actually made a, a second, second human centipede movie where this crazy fucker <laughs> This crazy bastard joins up like 20 or 30 people. I'm about halfway through it at the moment, but I'm going to give you my um, rendition of it, or however you call it, after I finish watching it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. As you see, I've put no spoilers in the movie for you. Uh, we don't know what happens in the movie, what happens afterwards, you know, will they get away, won't they get away, all that bullshit. That's for you to use your imagination when you actually watch the movie. I never put spoilers in my movies, I just give you the graphic details. Thanks guys for watching this, I'll be bringing you a lot more movie reviews of fucked up films and nice Disney movies with little doggies in the future. Thanks for watching guys, this is James Cornerstone, beaming the fuck out. Peace out mofos. Ha!